Hey there, tennis fans. I'm Grace Carter, and this is Tennis Now, presented by Tennis Express. Tennis Express, order today, and it ships today. What a year it's been for Australia's Ash Barty. She has locked up the WTA's year-end number one ranking. That means that the 23-year-old who won her maiden title at Roland Garros this year is the first woman from outside the U.S. and Europe to ever grab the year-end top spot. And she is just the 14th WTA player from any nation to finish a season as number one. In other words, finishing a season as the WTA's number one has historically been an extremely difficult task, harder than just becoming number one and harder than winning any singles title. To celebrate Barty's tremendous accomplishment, we're going to give you some facts about the WTA's year-end number one ranking. Here goes. Number one, only 14 players have ever done it. While there have been 27 number ones since the WTA began its official ranking system in 1975, only 14 players have managed to finish a season as number one. Second, Steffi Graf has done it more than anybody else. The German has notched eight year-end world number one finishes, doing it four times in a row from 1987 to 1990 and 1993 to 1996. Number three, Chris Everett did it first. She was the WTA's first official year-end number one back in 1975, and she repeated that feat in 1976 and in 1977. In total, Everett has five year-end number one rankings to her name. Number four, only four players have achieved the feat five or more times. Only Graf, Everett, Martina Navratilova, and Serena Williams have claimed the WTA's year-end number one ranking five or more times. Number five, Martina Navratilova finished five consecutive seasons as world number one, which is the longest streak of consecutive year-end world number one wins. She achieved that feat in every season from 1982 to 1986, and has seven year-end number one finishes in total. So what's next for Ash Barty now that she's cracked this milestone? Well, we think she's gonna be around for a while, but for now, we're just gonna celebrate the amazing season for the Aussie who may yet have her best tennis ahead of her. Thanks for watching Tennis Now TV, everybody. We'll see you next time.